Congressman and member of the House Judiciary Committee, Jeff Van Drew, joins me. Good evening, sir. And the audio tape you watched, as I understand, is from the interview that the special counsel heard did with President Biden last October. They provided a transcript with some minor edits, we're told, but they got to make the edits, so we don't know what was. But the transcript tells really a lot about state of mind. And in connection with that, we now see last night. So, that tra so the audio tape does have at least some enhanced importance, I would think. It does have enhanced re importance. Number one, if there is nothing wrong, there, why not just turn it over? If it's basically just what's in the transcript, why not turn it over? Well, that leads you to believe either one of two alternatives. Either it's not what was in the transcript, which I hope is not true, or it shows somebody that's cognitively impaired, that really has problems, that probably meanders, that doesn't speak well, that probably gets mixed up. But we should know that. It's our right. And it's their duty and responsibility to turn it over to us, yet they won't. So we're going to have to sue them. Well, the interesting thing about it is, I mean, it's, um, you're going to, this will go to the floor for contempt, and then it'll get sent to the Department of Justice for referral for prosecution, where the Attorney General will have to make a decision whether to prosecute or not. And then that's sort of where the, uh, that's where the rub comes, because is the Attorney General, is he the president's personal lawyer to protect him from turning over an audio tape, which supposedly there's a transcript for already available to you, or does he represent the American people with a right to know and transparency? You know, you know the answer to that, Greta, when you ask the question. You know that he's going to just protect the president in any way he can because it's probably very damning, and that's why I think we're going to have to end but up that's, going But is that his job? Is, and I but, think but is that, but let me ask you, is that his job? Because, you know, look, we've got Steve Bannon going to, going to jail on Monday. We've had other people go to jail for that. Is it, is it the attorney general's job to, to uh, run interference for the president of the United States? To a degree, it's also his job to uphold the Constitution, and it's also his job to uphold the rule of law. And this attorney general often does not, quite frankly, and he's not in this case. Um, he should do the right thing here. He has a greater responsibility than just to protect the president of the United States. And you know what I'm tired of, Greta? And I see it all the time in Judiciary Committee, and I speak about it all the time. Justice for thee and not for me. And I know we hear it a lot, but it is true with this administration and their appointees. Steve Bannon goes what? to jail. But if you're on the right side of the uh, political spectrum here, oh, you know, you're going to be okay. And I don't mean right by conservative. Would, would you, I mean right by the right people. Yeah. Would you be agreeable as sort of a compromise position to go listen to the audio tape compared to the transcript that you have in your hand and just not have it released? Because, you know, look, whatever it's going to be, you know, if it gets out into the public domain, it is going to be used as a, as a political weapon against the president because nobody's perfect on any of these audio transcripts. Would you be willing to at least go in and listen to it, you know, with the whole committee, if you want, privately without sort of disseminating to the rest of us? Because we do have the transcript. You can come out and say whether the transcript is right or not. You know, I'd have to think about that because, again, I mean, the transcript could have been damning as well, and in some ways was, by the way. So, you know, we've only been allowed to read the transcript but not actually have uh, copies of the transcript because it is in the transcript when Harris said that he's basically a well-meaning older gentleman with a very poor memory. And that's the reason, supposedly, they didn't go forward with the case, because the jury would be sympathetic towards him, and for that reason, didn't think they had a good case. I don't buy that. I don't buy any of this. You have a responsibility, and when you are subpoenaed, you have to turn over that information. If the shoe was on the other foot, we would have to turn over the Wait, information. Well, didn't, didn't the ghostwriter also say that he's destroyed the audio tapes or not? Am I wrong about that? So, I mean, so, I, mean yeah. I, mean, I, assume, I, assume, I assume the special prosecutor has his own copy, right? It's different. It may, it may be different materials, and that's why we need to know. This is huh? really important for the real good reasons. It's important to know this. And, yes, he did try to destroy the information, the audio tapes. Uh, but I think we were able to recover it. But still, as soon as he heard there was going to be a special prosecutor, he went to destroy them. Again, Greta, if you're doing nothing wrong, well, that's, why would you yeah, do no, that? Yeah, I know. That's... That's that's when when you start hiding stuff. That's actually not a that's not a particularly good sign. Anyway, Congressman Jeff Van Drew, thank you, sir. I appreciate it.